Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, let's have a look on the different keywords available in Java programming. Now what is a keyword? So a keyword is a predefined words given by the compiler which is having some specific task. So there are different keywords we, we are going to use in our Java programming and all those keywords will be having their own specific task or specific meaning. Right? So let us see one by one. import keyword so where this import keyword is used so first of all all the keywords will be in lowercase characters that is small letters so the first one is import so similar to our C language if you want to implement some functions we have to include the header file for example if you want to implement the mathematical functions like power or square root or seal or floor whatever the mathematical functions we are going to use in our C program we have to include the math.h header file similarly in order to implement the classes or methods we have to import the packages in Java so in Java programming there will be the package and inside the package there will be a classes and interfaces so in order to implement those classes we have to import the packages so for that purpose, we will use this import keyword. Class. Next one is class. So as we have discussed in the earlier session, as uh, this Java programming is an object oriented programming, so everything will be treated as a classes and objects. So class is a collection of objects. So for everything, we have to implement a class. So a class is a blueprint or a template which the object should be followed. So in order to create a class, we have to use the keyword class. This keyword. So this keyword is used to represent the method belongs to the particular current object. So current object is represented by using this. Super keyword. Super keyword is used to access the methods. I mean, if one method of a subclass is accessing the another method of a superclass, then we can use this super keyword. That means simply we can say it as an inheritance. So it can be used in inheritance concept. So if one class is derived from another class, if one method is invoked from the another class, then the, this super keyword will be used. So extends, extends keyword is also used in inheritance concept. So as we have discussed this inheritance concept in the OOPS concept, that is inheritance means acquiring the properties of one class by another class. So there we will call a super class and subclass, right? There are class and base class. So acquiring that means accessing the methods of one class to another class that can be done by using this extends keyword. package as i have said that in java there will be a package which consists of a number of classes and interfaces so in order to access those classes we have to import the packages and this keyword will be used return so this return keyword is similar to the c language which we are using in c language right so every function will return something to its main function I mean to its parent function right so that may be a value return or an empty return so that is used by using I mean that is acquired by using this return next try so try is used in exception handling so if any exception is raised then 
to raise the exception or to catch the ex ex exception, we'll use this try catch. So we will write this try and catch block. So whatever the I mean code we are writing that will be written in this try block. And whenever the exception is raised, then this catch block will raise the I mean catch the exception. Next, finally, this is also used in exception handling. Throw. Throws. Throw is also used to throw an exception. Throws it can be used in a class or a method which throws the exception whenever the exception is raised. So all these are meant for exception handling. Next, there is an another keyword called final keyword, which is similar to our constant. So if one value is assigned to the final keyword, then that variable will be having that that holds the value throughout the program. So for that, this final keyword is used. Next. Strict FP. FP here is floating point. So strict FP is used to restrict the floating point calculations. So all these keywords we will see while doing the programming, right? Just I will give you an overview. So uh, while doing the program, you will be able to see all these keywords. Instance keyword. So instance keyword is used to find whether the object is an instance of that, I mean, whether, whether the object is instance of that particular class or not. Right? So as we know that an object is an instance of a class, right? So this keyword is used to check whether the object is an instance of particular class or not. Enum. Enum is used to as for us as a special data type. So which will give some predefined values to the variable. Right? This is a special data type. Interface. So Java doesn't support the multiple inheritance concept. But that multiple inheritance concept can be achieved by using this interface. This interface keyword, we can achieve the multiple inheritance concept. Asset, sorry, small letters. Asset, asset is used to give the asset statement. So here the asset statement is a boolean condition given in the program expected boolean condition given in the program for that we will use this asset keyword native keyword so this keyword is is used as a modifier for a method modifier for a method So volatile, this, this will be applied for a variables. So whatever the variables we are creating by using this volatile keyword, every reading and writing operations will be done directly on the main memory. That means the memory management, right? So the variable values will be stored in the main memory. So this is instance of implements. Implements means this is used to create an interface implements is used to create an interface interface is used to use it for achieving the multiple inheritance right abstract keyword and this keyword is used in declaring the method right declaration of a method in the declaration of a method we will use this abstract keyword
so do for while if else all these are the and so switch switch default break continue so all these we have seen in our c language do for while all these are the uh, iterative control statements if else these are the conditional statements switch is a multi multi way selection statement default which is used in a switch case so if uh, the uh, the value or the argument of a switch is not matching with any uh, any one of the case labels then this default i mean default case will be executed break and continue break means in respect of the condition whenever the control executes this break statement the control will come out from the loop and continue statement it will skip the current iteration and it will continue with the next iteration so all these are the control structures so boolean keyword is used to create a variable with this data type so boolean is a data type in our java programming so it holds only two values true or false byte is also a keyword i mean byte is also a data type so but uh, uh, this data type is having the range the range between uh, minus 128 to 127 value it can hold the uh, values between minus 128 to 1 plus 127 short is also a keyword which is used as a data type here int is also a keyword it's a data type character is a data type float is a data type double is a data type long is a data type right so all these are the different data types boolean byte short int character float double and long all these are the data types next public protected private sorry i'll write here see public private protected so all these three are the access specifiers which gives the access to the variables and methods so which class to be used by which variables right so these are the access specifiers public protect and private so in this way we can easily uh, remember these keywords so all these keywords are related to the classes to import the class to uh, i mean for the inheritance concept and this is for exception handling and all these are the different keywords right which one uh, each is having their own identity and these are the iterative statements and these are the data types and these are the access specifiers so in this way you can easily remember all these keywords so hope you understood all these keywords these are the different keywords used in java programming and one thing we have to remember is uh, all the keywords should be written in lower case characters so while doing the program we will able to see the importance of all these keywords right so hope you understood this session so let us stop here so if you are having any doubt feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts so if you really understood my sessions like my sessions share my sessions with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so thanks for watching thank you very much